Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen. I'm going to make a pie, a delicious pie. Now I make lots of pecan, chocolate, and coconut pies, but I'm going to make a pineapple pie. Now my aunt would make a banana pudding and mother's oldest sister, Aunt Ruby, and instead of putting um, bananas in it, she would drain pineapple and put in it, and it was yummy. So this is just like a pineapple custard pie. It doesn't take a lot of stuff. It's easy. You bake it in a raw crust. I've got my crust ready, and I'm going to bring y'all over to the mixer while I mix it, and then we're going to get it in the pie pan and get it in the oven so it can cool down for supper. I've got one stick of soft butter already in the bowl, and I've already mixed it a little bit. Now it calls for one and a half cups of sugar, so I'm going to get that in and mix it some. Then we'll add two eggs. Okay, I'm going to add in the eggs to where it'll cream really well. I've got two eggs. Okay, my eggs are creamed with the sugar and the butter. So now I'm going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla. And it calls for just a pinch of salt. And that means what you can get between your thumb and your forefinger. So just a, just a pinch, or an eighth of a teaspoon is usually equivalent to a pinch. Let's blend this. Okay, it calls for three tablespoons of flour. You mix that well. I think that's blended very well. And it says a can of crushed pineapple drained but not dry. So I just got a little of the juice out. I mean, it's not runny by any stretch of the imagination, but I did not squeeze it dry like I would if, if it had called for it to be dry. Now I'm just going to mix this up here. Okay, y'all, I got my pie ready to uh, go in the oven. I added my pineapple and finished whipping it up. Now I'm going to get it in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes, and we'll see what it tastes like. Anything pineapple's got to be good. And I could have added a little bit of coconut, but I didn't. I'm doing it by the recipe this time. We'll be back in just a little bit and let y'all look at it. Here's the pineapple pie all finished and cooling and I'm fixing to plate a piece of it up and I'll be back to show you. Okay, here's a piece of it cut and it's husband approved. Troy's eating a piece of it and he said it's good. So now y'all have a dessert to make to go with all your chicken dishes. Thank y'all for coming back in the kitchen today and watching me cook and listen to me rattle. Because y'all are having to listen to it one day at a time, but I've been rattling in this kitchen all day long. I hope you'll try this pineapple pie. It is very good. Now, the only thing I would do different is I would pour the pineapple through um, a sifter or a strainer, a sieve. But just don't mash it and get all the juice out. But just let everything run out that will while you're holding it. Because all I did was open the lid and tilt the can and I don't think I got quite enough of the liquid out but the pie is absolutely it's delicious I like pineapple and if you added a little coconut in it it would really have a tropical taste to it so just follow the recipe but strain it a little more than I did it just said you don't want it just you know how when you press on it and squeeze it and it's just powdery dry you don't want it dry like that you want it still moist 
Hope y'all make one. Put it on your table. Try something different if you haven't tried it before. If you like pineapple, you're going to love it. Come back tomorrow for another good recipe. And in the meantime, practice cooking and putting it on your supper table. Feeding your family and friends. And visiting and learning what they've been doing. The good Lord bless y'all. And I'll meet you right here tomorrow.